All right, laying out your wall shelf. You should have your 16 inch board, and then we're going to click back and forth between this document that is in the Google folder with all the dimensions. You'll need a You'll need a ruler and a square. You can use either one of the tri squares or one of the speed squares. And you'll need something to write with. Okay. Uh, start in the bottom left corner of your board. Put zero on your, put your zero on the ruler on the edge of the board. Make a mark at half and ten and a half. Half and ten and a half on the factory edge of your board. Okay. Grab your square. Take your square slide over to the first mark. Make sure the butt of your square is tight against the factory edge. Square that line up as far as you can reach. Hold your pencil. Flip your square. Finish it off. Okay, flip back to the bottom. Make a mark at four, four and a half. And five and a half. Four, four and a half, five and a half. Slide your square over to the mark that you made at the beginning at ten inches. Make sure the butt of your square is tight against the factory edge. Square from the bottom up to four. Connect both of your four inch points with your ruler. Okay, put your zero down on the bottom at the first mark you made at half an inch. Make a mark over here at eight. Put your square on that mark. Tight against the factory edge. You're gonna draw a line from four and a half to five and a half. Connect this point to this point with your ruler. Any line that goes with the grain, use a ruler. Any line that goes across, use a square. Connect those two. Then put your zero of the ruler here. Make a mark at four. Take your square. Slide over, draw a line from that mark you just made up to six, and then connect here to here to here. So if we jump back and look at the drawing, got this one done, got this one done, got three to go. Okay, uh, the sides on the back piece are one and five eighths and the middle is two and a half. It's eight wide, same as the one below it. So I'm gonna take my ruler here at the top. I'm back working backwards now, so I got my, uh, Starting point at eight. Make a mark at four and zero. 
slide my ruler over to the one on the right, make a mark from zero to one and five eighths. Slide over to the middle one from zero to two and a half. And then slide over to the first one. You don't need to make a line. Just do a mark at one and five eighths. And then connect there to there to there with your ruler. Okay, so we just got the two ends left. They're five wide, three and one fourth. We'll just go ahead and do those two. Okay, hold your ruler down in this space you have left. Hold it as steady as you can. Make a mark at zero. And five. Make sure you got enough room on each side of those for a saw to fit through. Take your square, slide over to this one. Make a line going up and stopping at three and one fourth. And you're going to have to flip your square. You never want the butt of your square hanging off an edge. So flip your square. And go from zero to three fourths. And then we need this measurement. It is one and one eighth. So I'm going to measure from here over one and one eighth throw my square on it I'm not going to do a line I'm just going to put a dot at three and one fourth and then I'll connect here to here to here with my ruler And then I'm going to mirror this around and put another one up here. So I hold my ruler on the edge. Leave plenty of space on, space on both sides. I'm going to make a mark at zero, one and one eighth, and five. Take my square. Make a mark from zero to three and one fourth. Slide over to the next one. Just make a dot at three and one fourth. Slide over the next one. Line from zero to three fourths. Connect A to B to C. They're there and they're there. And I'm gonna go through lightly so I can sand it off later initial back initial front initial top initial end initial